Hi everyone. In my last video, I showed off my cool pneumatic collet fixture that takes these Brown and Sharp 21 screw machine collets. Now, these actually fit into a standard 5C collet rack, but as you can see, they're a lot heavier up front, so they lean over a lot and they're kind of in danger of falling out. So I'm going to modify this, and I think I can do it just by uh, changing the angle on the side pieces. So I'm going to take the collet rack off the wall and then I'll try to figure out a good angle to have this at where instead they'll sit back. I've got plenty of room back here. Uh, there's probably a good inch and a half, two inches, um, you know, somewhere between 37 and 50 millimeters between the collets and this board that I have it mounted to. Uh, so I've got plenty of wiggle room to play with. By the way, you'll notice this guy sits just fine, and that's because it's actually an 11C, uh, not a 21. I don't have anything that actually fits this, so if any of you out there happen to need an 8mm square 11C collet, drop me a line either in the comments or to my email, and uh, I'll be more than happy to send that to you. You just saw me make this mark here that corresponds to the angle where that collet will sit in there. I would like to reuse this hole. Uh, that way I only have to drill one. And the other thing is, is I would like to sandwich the two pieces together like this and cut them at the same time, or at least uh, refine the shape at the same time. Well, now I can't see my mark. So I've taken my marker and I've transferred the whole location there, as well as the end of the mark there. And now I can connect the dots with them. I'll break out the shears and uh, cut this roughly, clamp them together, and then uh, cut them as one piece and, uh, and clean that up a little bit. Then transfer that whole location, and I should be done.
Now that I've got this all done, I can go ahead and take it off the wall and pack it up because I'm moving shops. I will have to do a little bit more adjustment because some of the smaller sizes of collets are still a little bit too top heavy and they tip forward. I don't think I'm going to make any more adjustments to the side. I'll probably just put a shim behind this board, uh, but I'll wait to do that until I get to the new shop. You will see these in a future video at some point because I need to come up with some kind of usable collet stop design for this. Uh, that will probably be pretty far in the future though because I've got a lot of other projects in mind first. Anyway, if you have any questions or topics you'd like to see me cover in a future video, leave those down in the comments section below. Hit that like and subscribe button if you think I've earned it. And please consider supporting the channel over on Patreon like the wonderful people you can see on your screen right now. You might want to check out these other videos as well. On the right, I have a playlist of all of my quick machining tips. On the top left, I have my most recent video. And on the bottom left, there's a video YouTube thinks you'll enjoy just as much as this one. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.